Welcome back. I'm here with Natalia Garcia, and we are continuing our conversation about autoimmune disease. Natalia, I want to ask you about your client, Elaine, because her story is one of the reasons you just shot to fame here in the local community. What you accomplished with Elaine was absolutely amazing. And I've got to hear from you. What happened? How did you do this? So Elaine came to me feeling super off. And if you look at the image, she had all things going on. As I mentioned, autoimmune disease is a process that happens over years and years and years. Like dementia, you don't wake up one day from other with dementia. It's progressive. You don't wake up one day with diabetes. So what I invite everybody seeing this is to look at their lives and look at this stain diagram where you have S for the stress, which can be anything from jobs, relationships, um, lack of exercise, then T for toxins, which can be found in water, personal care products, artificial sweeteners, processed foods, and then the A for adverse food reactions. If you notice that you it, you're, have itchy ears or you have itchy butts or that you have uh, bloaty bellies or that you have smelly farts, that is because the food that you ate is just not mm. sitting well with you. And it's not normal. So it's a pension. It's really good to pay attention to how we feel. And then the I stands for infections. And when we find that an infection can be driving autoimmune disease, it's fascinating. In, in, in Elaine's case, this was the case. And then deficiencies, vitamin D deficiency alone can trigger autoimmune disease. So that's the process. And she had a lot going on for her. So when she came to you, she was in a bit of a state then because she's experiencing this. This is her real life. Right. What happened? How did it change? So she came to see me because she had digestive issues and her doctor referred her to me because she had celiac disease. There's thousands of American people and throughout the world living with celiac disease without knowing. Some people are anemic. Some people develop osteoporosis. And she just really wasn't feeling well. She came to see because she wanted to learn how to uh, live gluten-free. Uh, but after we worked for that for a while, then she started not feeling well. I said, Elaine, I need to look deeper in your body and actually see what could be going on. And we did some testing when it, with the genetic testing, but we also looked at her digestive tract and her microbiome. And we actually found that she had... Um, Klebsiella, this is a bacteria that on its own can trigger autoimmune disease. And there's many other bad bugs that we have in our guts that can overgrow, that can trigger autoimmune disease alone. Now, if you have this genetic condition called MTHFR or methylation imbalance, you are way more susceptible to not detoxifying um, and to, for your body to really accumulate toxins and that puts you at higher risk from developing autoimmune disease and she had that as well and we also checked for toxic metals and as you can see in the screen uh, she her mercury level was very very elevated she also had tin and heavy metals can be found in water they can be found in makeup they can be found um in everyday things that people are totally clueless. So it is my passion to bring awareness about what you can look at to save your life and not live in pain, to not just look amazing because that's what people mostly reach out to a registered dietitian, but mostly to feel amazing. So she turned it around and we had to do some testing so that she could live because if she hadn't done this testing, she'd probably be dead by now. That's incredible. You, you mentioned so many things that are, that are invisible, that are hidden. We don't know them. We can't do it by, them, by ourselves. We can't figure this stuff out. We need testing and we need professional support to do it. So how does Elaine feel now? What's she up to? Well, Elaine feels much better today and there's still a lot of work to do in the stress level. Stress is the rubber of life. And when it comes to our immune system, um, she has really learned to know what are her triggers so before, as you can see, she really couldn't sleep really well and uh, she was bloated all the time and she had a lot of reactions. And now with testing, which saved her life and which is very grateful to me for, um, she's much more energetic and she can get out of bed and do her job because we have corrected her deficiencies and we have found what are the root causes, the underlying causes of why she was feeling unwell, which are still managing. So 
she's really aware and she is very compliant with following the specific uh, food plan that I tell her to follow so that she doesn't feel deprived, but that she also feels nourished. Wow. Wow. So she doesn't feel deprived, but she does feel nourished and she feels better because that's something that's really important to you, that not just to look great, but to feel great. Yes. Guys, you heard Natalia say that if you have smelly fart, you need to call her up. So I'll tell you what, if you're interested in following up, if you want to know more, if you want to get on the pre-order list for her book that's coming out soon, email Natalia. Thank you.